be opened on here. I think they're gonna go for it. A disruption. There's your chilling touch. Avos will get the stun. And how much damage have they got? Enough. Dread's gonna drop. Goddamn, at least get the big decay. Snako's gonna drop very, very low, but the damage he cannot he reach. Him. Nothing. Uh, he'll have a TP and come back. Oh, goddamn, really doesn't give a damn. He might have actually finished the ward. Uh, Havos, the stun, now gonna land. There isn't a chilling touch, but the damage is still gonna be there. There's your liquid fire, and goddamn, drop down the tombstone. He's gonna survive. They're trying to get rid of this tombstone, but Arstar's dying to the zombies, and now another decay! Goddamn, with a double kill! Which basically makes him three for zero. One and a half minutes in with on the point. So he can move away, disrupt away, and now the rotation has been completely got out. Steals the bounty rune as well. Maybe a little bit greedy here. The puck's in orbit. The stun for a force will buy the space. The dream call will arrive here. And a force takes stun straight away. They will be killing up the shadow here, but Arstar's still in the neighborhood. The lightning's bound, soul rip, keeping him alive. And they're gonna take two kills. And this will open up for Roshan, but now Denny will arrive. Raise number one, raise number two, and attack number three. The style from Goddamn will keep him alive. A little bit longer, just long enough, he's so low on life, down to about 6 HP on the attack, and Dandy, it's this haste rune that's giving him the advantage with with, uh, with basically space, and Seneca, has he got poison, has he got anything, he's got dread on his tail, as well as Funnick who's now joined the fight as well, is going to be the first one to die here for Hellraisers, and goddamn, low on life, the catch is there with the poison, finally Ursa is able to kill off the H apparition, but Funnick's right behind him, one cool spray, the slow was not enough from dread to keep him away before the spray did come out, and Dandy with the razors, the ice path will lock him there, but Hellraiser will lose three. Goddamn will survive. I do not know how, but he does walk out that one. He has a vision advantage, and that's why he's trying to play from these sentry wards as well. Goddamn's on the run back to the secret shop. And HR could move over, but where's the extra help? Here it comes in from a boss, but the ice path from Dread perfectly controlling him as well as Funnick, and a boss will drop almost instantly. The tombstones in the neighborhood, then he gets directly with souls off, but Alice wants to start fighting as well. But are they really wanting to do this, do this underneath the undying tombstone? The answer is obviously no, but with the dual breath, then he may have no choice. He's trying to run away as quick as he possibly can, but he's about to die. A boss finally arrives back in again with the lightning, turning on the pulse. He's able to bring down that Ursa. Finally, he can do something. In fact, it was actually the SD that got the kill but he cannot actually find the Puck. Running around inside the tree line, the rest of his team is busy elsewhere. Puck is now going to orb away. A horse cannot stop this. So the only other battle position they've got is going to be Gorak here. Okay. Wait for your timing here, that's even better. You'll set her up, the ice path coming back in again from the secure, but it missed the target, then he got the BKB off in time, turns for the race, hits three heroes with that one. The Shallow Grave will be there to protect Artis, but Gorik's still sitting in the tree line. Uh, Artis, where's he gonna go here? Apart from death, that's basically the only answer for him. Ice Blast coming in a little bit too early, the face is gonna dodge it, the SF actually dying, but the death ulti actually helps Latrak, but Latrak was the one to end the killing spree of, of the buck. So, is hold the tree line here? They could have a lot of work at Dread. He comes in for the ice path, but he's already perched up. The ice path flying up too. That means Dread's down for the count. The Shallow Grave will not let him survive through this. It won't last long enough, but he'll get a Macro Pyre and Dual Breath off at least. But the Requiem of Souls slowing down the damage. And Artis again, he can't get any closer. They've lost two now, HR. The AA only barely stays alive. But what else are you going to do to try and stop this? The Lightning of Damage is coming out. God damn. Uh, he's back at the Tier 1 Tower in mid. He is just standing so far back because he feels like his only role in this fight is to land a good Ice Blast. That's yep. the thing that matters the most. I can see that. I still think Ice Force is oh, good. That's jump. a really good jump. Huge, huge stream call. Four heroes caught, but what damage can they do? Dandy is standing his ground. Funnick, they actually used the blade on him. Actually, no, they didn't know the BKB, but Artis, he hasn't finished the job. The Soul Rip is keeping oh, him alive. Just... They haven't brought him down yet. Yeah, the Aegis must have timed down, because Dandy did not respawn back up again. But the Pulse Nova kicking into Goddamn. They still have not killed up the melee racks. They've only got the range in this bush. Navi have not achieved enough. The Ice Path will come with a door breath. Then the Macro Pyro Force is burning here. The Ice Blast will come in, but the Yule Scepter at the right time will evade the Ice Blast, but they still be chilled up. The Ice Blast path is going to stop Funny from getting out of here. This is a huge fight for Hellraisers, but the buybacks are here already, and you've got the SD coming in from the side, and Funny now just wants to try and turn and fight. They still don't have Andy, but they do still have that Bristle back of the front lines, and the boss back to the world of living. Yes, Snowbrun Artis, can they kill him off? This is now Navi just trying to use economy to win the battle. The Ghost Center buys time. Yule Scepter up as well. It's buying time for Dread to get the Ice Path, and again, the door by the force could this be the die back goddamn standing his ground Arnold's coming back getting in a force he needs to live he needs space he got it he got away from the earth shock this will allow him to survive the oh. one they really can but the puck he blinks in the orb is off target the force has to run back up again now the ice part the force is down it's a die back for him or no, is it no that's where the strikes come in 
Arstar's still watching. Remember that Ice Blast is still an Agadim's Ice Blast. You do not want to be caught in a, in a, in a clustered area, or else you're in trouble, and that's exactly what Goddamn is. The Ice Blast, uh, ice blast will come in, so Dendi has triggered the BKB. Oh, and this is a dive to Life and Hardis, so much damage! Now you'll work through some Nako, and where is it? There's your Ice Blast finally arriving in. The chill will be there, but you've lost your SD as well. The boss with a Pulse Nova now is doing the damage. Apo, he is so low, but he was not hit by the Ice Blast, so he survives on 82 HP. The four star fuck Goric, he also wasn't connected on, so he'll be able to get out of here. And it's the Undying, the only casualty of war here for Hellraisers. They're disengaged, it's wonderful. Uh, you generally want to put the evasion in the shadow thing, I guess, rather than the thing across the flank. You can just perch off. Oh, Dandy's going to get hexed out. That's a big one. The ice by the follow up. Soneko can't help him out. The SD's going to drop. No buyback available. Is this the fight for Hellraisers? Arthur just wants to get out of here. And he'll be the man against the E Blade of Love. Artist, the ice blast will connect on him. So he's backing up. He had the BKB up, though. So he's actually perfectly fine in this one. However, Afro, not so fine. The phase shift will be there. Tries to fight the stun. Not the right time. But the Ice Path, again, Dread being in the perfect position during these engagements. But it's two players down for Na'Vi. It is still the two support. But the SF's now going into Butterfly. And a five-man spread from HR. Now, they don't want to check Roshan. While well, Roshan will be wonderful. If he's there, they'll kill him. But they've got a creep from the Helmet's Dominator still there. A force is the man who's the most exposed at the moment. And here comes Hellraiser. The smoke will break over an artist. But then, direct, directly to the Silver Edge. And Artstyle, as well as Aniko, they're too close. The Dream Core catch both from here and Artstyle. Can he at least get the Ice Blast off before death? He can do so over on Goddamn. With a boss on him, trying to get a boss. They came from behind. And they're just going to beat them in with the Sheepers guard. But it's still two heroes down for the price of one. Support and support only. And Artist battles into a boss. Is there enough? Artist controlled up. Funnings on top of him. The Shadow Blade keeps him up long enough to kill off the track. But they still have to keep Artist alive a little bit longer. They force up him up and earn charge. They cannot kill the bloody bear! And they can move over towards the park, he'll blink away with the phase shift, and Navi just cannot kill Secure! Yeah, HR, oh, here's the smoke. They're pinging it out, even. Oh, that ice path from Drake could be so big. You can see him. He, he, he flicked it. Oh, and now the weave. weave. That's big. With the ice path over on two. How much damage can they do? The Crimson Gas are protecting him. Arstar so low with the Dream Calls. He's actually standing inside of it. But ours is the man going to work. The ice path, it connects. Maybe they can keep him alive with a Glimmer Cape. Now in the Rec Room. Again, Gorik saving that Shallow Grave. Can he kill off Denny in time? Funnick is still here. Artis pushed down. This time he'll die. Ibeck is available. Gorik's going to take it for the team. There's a one one for two trade-off, and maybe there's more. The Ice Path keeping her force down for the moment. The Jakiro is the one to buy back, and we've got trip buybacks coming in from HR. Sorry, not Jakiro, and maybe he'll have a gem. Does, does HR still have a gem? They have it on Puck. Okay, so what's Puck's position? Because Seneko, he's pretty Oh, wait, 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 wait. He could potentially steal this. If he's he gonna die, Puck will be good. If he can disrupt it, well, there's if Puck comes in. Puck's on the way in, but he's got to get there now, and if Artis fires up... Oh, wait, maybe. Yeah, he's, he's actually in the there. lane. This is possible for Snaker. Stealing the Aegis might be big, but he can disrupt up Artis and slow this down. The dual threat is there, and he steals the Aegis the model, oh but he doesn't pop out of Invis by stealing God. it. He almost tried to pick up the cheese as well, but he actually grabs a TP scroll and gets out. And hey, hey, child could be wondering, what the hell just happened? Where is he? The Puck's coming in, having a look. They have no idea. This is the kind of place that can win a game. They still... He did still refusal to purge Hex, I guess. Then I still think... I think if you want to get that to purge Hex, Octarine Core... Oh, sorry, uh, Lotus Orb is probably a better choice. Mm -hmm. But either that or he's, he's also using this kind of artist. Oh, Avorce again! The Ice Blast is there, but Avorce! The defensive destruction will keep him alive for the moment, but can he get out of this one alive? He lets up as much damage, buyback is available. A horse can return to the action. They've gotten rid of the poops and the erasers from Dandy, the Yule Scepter, saving Jakiro Dread the last moment. He blinks away to safety, still alive to fight another day. And here comes oh, that BT. And yep, Dread way too far up. Down a very, very low life. They have to expend the Shallow Grave on him, which means they don't have it for the Ursa. The Ice Pass will connect on Goddamn. But Navi, they're controlled in by the Dream Call, which didn't actually summon anybody. Goddamn, now he's so low, but can they do it? There's your jump in by the puck. Gets a Dream Call off the back of the Refresher of the Macro Pie burning through Funnic, but is it really enough? Lashrak is down, but of course, buyback is available, and he's not coming back to the engagement yet, because they've already taken two. The Aegis more triggering, and Dandy, do they have enough damage? Art is so low, he's gonna drop the Force up, up, not enough to save him. He does have buyback. Back, but they're not going to expend it for the moment. Hellraiser's on the run out of here, but Na'Vi, how much of the extras can they mop up there? But he does, they have a disruption. Gorik will not be able to survive to fight another day, or at least that day is now almost two minutes away for Hellraiser's kind of three. Panic buyback, are, they, are they trying to get more? Are they actually trying to get the Ursa up? Funnick's in a little bit of trouble here. And then defensive disruption. 
The Undying Tombstone being dropped and Phoenix and yeah, he's still in trouble here. He's almost dead. In fact, he is dead. 95 seconds on the silent, but Afro outside the base. The Ice Blast actually not connecting with the blast itself, but still the chill effects there. Then he's enabled the Snake There's that Dream Call coming back into work. Goddamn with the double kill. And now it's Na'Vi. Maybe they overpressured, overstayed their walk, but just to merely wreck. Arsal being hunted down by Dread and Dendi still in the world of the living, but the question is for how long he does have the Satanic available so we can oh, fight Winter BKB, but there goes your Ice Blast, E-Blade, Shiva's Guard, Decay, they're taking everything they can, and the Hex, then he's in trouble, real trouble, he can't get up in time, he's down for the count, there is buyback available though, on three of the heroes from Na'Vi, and yeah. all three of them, oh, and they can turn, dying. they have the high ground, Dread jumps up, the Dream Call on the catching one, and Force Trick is off the BKB in time, the Ice Blast, it's gonna be on all four of them, hey Char, in a lot of trouble, the Macro Pie is still doing the work, but they've lost the puck, that's a dieback for him, he's got no to come back to the living artist. He's trying to bring down Funnick, but Funnick with the back turn running up high. The ice pipe will control him, but a one cost defensive disruption. He's actually going to save the life. Seneco keeping his core alive. There's two down for Hellraise at the moment, and maybe they got enough. Dreads on the run. Seneco right behind him. He can't keep up. He has a fuel play charge. They avoid the ice pipe. Prediction coming until he walks straight back into it. Now it's Korok. For boss, they need to make sure he does not die here, but they got the other Hex! Cora came back in again, the Dazzle's on the sideline, Dread will join him in a moment, the Ice Path doesn't want anyone, the Dual Press on up to kill the Funnick, four heroes down for Hellraisers, Na'Vi GG is the call! 80 minutes to take, the Na'Vi will finally put Hellraisers into the ground, dead and buried with a 2-0 victory, keeping their hopes for the TI5 qualifier, European number one slot alive, and potentially number two as well. Woo! That was an incredible. I mean, it was a it was an incredible game, with incredible plays and incredible mistakes and everything. It's this is what makes the the most entertaining games to watch. But. Holy